Hey, what's in the guys? Brad here. So as you can see, we have a metric crap ton of tabs open right now because Konami earlier today, it's, it's 5 a.m. for me right now, but this is going up later because today they announced Legacy of Duelist Link Evolution was coming to PS4, Xbox One and Steam on March 24th. And well, the Steam version is coming on the 25th, but the Switch version also getting an update the same day. So I don't know whether the Switch version is being updated on the 25th or on the 24th. It's still a bit confusing. However, Konami also announced the exact same thing for the English version. So we are getting a surprise release for the English version on March 24th, which is really, really cool. So in today's video, I'm going to go over everything I found regarding Link Evolution, including the card list, the ban list, what we can expect from new characters, new backgrounds, some animations. All that kind of thing and what you can expect to be playing with up to and from dual overload so we just had the reveal of the set on my channel earlier today but now we're gonna be able to play this in a video game and this is going to be the most up-to-date video game of all time so let's dive right in so first of all on the official website and right there you see we have Halky Firebrax, Dark Templar Day Star, Dark Fluid and Vert Anaconda all kind of confirmed for us, meaning that we're getting things from Dual Overload, Ignition Assault, and Chaos Impact. And that's basically where you're going to be sitting. Is anything released in Dual Overload and before is going to be in this set for the most part. There might be some missions like, you know, TCG exclusives, but beyond that, you're getting the majority of the cards in the game right now. Aside from like the Plunder Patrols and the Dream Mirrors, that kind of thing, you're getting the dangers that are going to be in this game. We're getting a lot of cool things. So, there's a screenshot here, of course we have the uh, just the general thing, we're going to be using the Master Rule 5, which um, is really cool because this is coming out a week and a bit before April 1st, so we're getting this, you know, we'll be able to play in the new rules officially for about a week. There's a really cool looking uh, tile screen update on the right for the Switch version with Borlo Dragon, it looks really really cool. And just saying that we do need, you know, you do need PlayStation Plus, Switch Online, Xbox Gold to play online. But there's no confirmation of any uh, crossplay, unfortunately, which is uh, a bit disappointing. Of course, if that does change, I will inform you guys as and when. But this is the image that's scrolling around the bottom of the screen. It shows a couple of new things. We have, of course, uh, Halky Firebrax being summoned. We have the, a new card shop inventory, which has a Relinquished Anima. It has uh, the uh, Flame Swordsman Link monster. Some Marincess cards, the Unchained in there as well. So that might be like the Revolve Booster Pack or something. I don't know. We have Elstow Up Cologne being summoned, so of course Stoll Showdown came out before Dual Overload, so it's in this as well. We of course have Revolver's deck here with all the top logic and, you know, Boral Monsters, which looks insane. Again, Halky Firebrax again, Revolver in his original form, and then our first kind of official tease of Heatlio's animation. So, some pretty cool things there. We of course also have confirmation of Magician Souls, if anyone was worrying that it wasn't going to be in here, it is. And actually, really interestingly... So right here where my, where my mouse is, we have Hope Magician. This isn't actually out in English yet. So we're getting a mixture of cards available in the OC and the TCG. And it's really weird as to why we got this one and not the other ones. But maybe because it's a V-Jump promo, I'm not too sure. But we of course have uh, a Magician's Combination here as well. Magician Souls, obviously front and center, which is going to be a pretty big highlight. We have a, <laughs> we have a Salomon Great deck here with Hazy Flame Sphinx in it, which is really, really weird to see. But... We have Al Mirage as well, Pyro Phoenix from Chaos Impact, so we're getting a good amount of Silent Mining as well, which people are going to be uh, uh, really interested with. So we are getting a lot of really, really cool cards. Again, I might there might be some other ones here that I'm missing that are like, you know, OSG imports that we haven't seen yet. So that's kind of cool. But if we head over to the Japanese side of things, here's where things get a bit interesting. So we, of course, have the whole 10,000 cards or whatever. We have a bit of a different image here, which is... Uh, Showing a Salaman Grey deck with Nibiru in the extra deck with Lightning Storm from Ignition Assault. So we are getting those cards, of course, again. Ignition Assault, it's in here. So it's the most up-to-date version of the game. Very, very nice. Now if we go back to here, right here is the uh, the card list. Uh, it's saying that, you know, some cards might not be representative of the OCG, which is true because there's no um, anything that's kind of like any sets like Eternity Code or whatever. Those aren't out here yet, so we're not going to be getting them. But... We are getting a lot, and you can see in the background we have some new characters, we have an Emma here, we have Revolver, we have a, a Lightning here, do we have anyone else I can kind of spot off the bat? There is not, but there's some new characters in the trailer which are pretty cool. We have Emma versus Blue Angel down here, we have, uh, I'll get to that Dharma Magician girl actually right now, real quick, let's just go to this this trailer. Uh, we're going to go back to the cardboard thing because it gets really interesting. 
Uh, we have a brand new dual field, which looks quite nice. We have Roboppy here in his human form. I don't think we're going to be playing appliances. I haven't really looked up to see if they're in here, but I doubt they are. Be insane if they were, but I don't think they are. You know, we have Shadows being summoned. We have Salomon Greats versus Revolver with his new artwork. So two artworks of Revolver, Soulburner, of course, in the bottom left. Looking very nice. Uh, we have Salomon Great Heat Leo's animation, which we've seen before. We saw that from the uh, the leaked ratings for submissions. Some cool cards. The top of Zeroboros is up here behind me. Of course, that, that would have been confirmed. But uh, that's still pretty cool. Vert Anaconda here in permanence, which was already in the game. But IP Mascarena as well is a new-ish card. Confirming again the battle list. You can see just here that Needle Fiber, Hacky Fibrax is at 1. Which is where it should be because that's where it is on the OCG battle list. So again, sharing that battle list like it did before. And we have Pot of Extravagance, which I know people are going to be very excited about. That came out in Savage Strike, so it's in, it's in here. It, it's looking pretty nice. Now, I wanted to go and find... Uh, story Mode, again, is just showing us a couple of little screenshots as to what you can expect. But there is a pretty fledged out uh, for Reigns campaign now. Whether that's a full Story Mode with actual dialogue, I doubt it. But we'll have to wait and see for that one. But yeah, let's just see, where's the Diamond Skull animation? Because it looked kind of cool. Uh, there's like an update for the Diamond Skull animation. Where are you? Um, it actually doesn't 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 want to doesn't want to give me animation. Where 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 are you? I was just showing PVP and stuff. There was a Diamond Skull animation that looked really cool. Here we are, here it is. Here is Neos. And then Diamond Skull looking a lot better, looking more like her Dual Links artwork actually. Her Dual Links render. Looking very, very nice, and that's something that means we can have an updated Sony animation video because it's technically new. So, um, yeah, that might be all on the surface, but oh boy, does things get interesting when we get to the card list. This thing is absolutely huge, and I've gone to the liberty of having a look and seeing what's in here, especially with Dual Overload coming out. And this list is based on the OCG release date, which is why. There are things like here we have a Magician of Black Chaos Max. We have uh, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon here, I think it is. We've got the Malefic cards here with the Cubics underneath it. We have uh, some of the familiar possess like Possessed Awakening. That card is in Dual Overload. That is in this bunch. So it's safe to assume we're getting the entirety of Dual Overload. I don't really want to go and look up every single card in Dual Overload and see if it's in here. But for the most part, the important ones are going to be in here, which is really, really cool. And if you go down to the bottom... Right on the bottom, you have up to date card list, which has, you know, Magical Hero, it has Exhibition of Soul, it has the Shadow Structure Deck, and it has, of course, Dual Overload, some cards from that. And from those, we, of course, have things like the, um, this is the Tenyi Link, we have the, uh, the Ice Mayakashi Link Monster, we have the Sky Striker New Link Monster, uh, Lib the World Keyblade Master, we have the Abyss Actor Link, we have a Predator Plant, obviously, the Melodious Link Monster, the Artifact Link. We have the Bujin Link Monster, the Mecha Phantom Beast Link, the Reptilian Link, and we have uh, Crossroads Dragon, the Black Rose Dragon Link Monster. We have, I think this is the Pendulum Link Monster. This is a Serene, I think she's called. She's in Dual Overload as well. Uh, we have uh, X Hero Hell Divisor, I think it is. And uh, we have the Samorg Link. We have the Herald Link Monster. We have the Ancient Gear Ballistic Shooter. We have Union Carrier. And we have uh, the Buster Blade Link Monster as well. So, and of course, Link got Dragon. So, there's a ton in this game that we're getting. And it's coming on March 24th, which is ridiculous. Like, I did not expect them to bring it this early. I thought it was going to be in a, in May or even June. But we're getting this early. And it seems to be, the card pool seems to be a bit of a weird one. With some OCG only cards and a lot of things that just come out of the TCG. So... And on the subject of Hope Magician, I did some more digging, and this card right here, this this text right here, is it's for Gandora Giga Rays, which is a is like Hope Magician in that it's a it's a V Jump promo card. So maybe this card isn't in the TCG yet. This card is really good. with some like FDKs involving it, I think. This card is uh, not in the TCG yet at all. So we are getting some cards not available. In the TCG in this, which is really, really weird. So I'm going to do a bit more research and see if I can find anything else that could be coming, that seems to be coming in this game, that doesn't make sense to be coming in this game. Another one I found is Performer Power Odd Ice Metal Claw, which is coming in this game as well. So it, it also seems to be a bit random because 
There are some cards coming in that we think would be in here based on where these other cards are coming from, but aren't. So when the full card list is translated, it's going to be insane to see what cards are coming, which ones aren't. So I'm going to leave it off there with regards to that and get back to past Brad, who's going to talk more about other stuff and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let's get back to past Brad. I say that, but then we're also getting Odd Eyes Wing Dragon. So if anyone wanted that card, uh, I guess he's coming in as well. And while we're at even more cards that weren't in the TCG bar and the OCG, we have Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon, Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon Air Raid, and we also have this F number zero Utopia guy from VB19, which are also going to be in Link Evolution, which which this card pool is just getting a bit ridiculous now. Hi all, me again here, back with some more cards that confirmed. We have a uh, co-generator, which is one that, you know, People have wanted to play with Cyburst for a long time, so that's going to be in Link Evolution. And so things like Linkle Bell. So, I... Again, I keep saying this, but... There, expect some cards you weren't expecting to see in this update, which is really cool. I am going to do a lot of research with this, of course. I'll leave a link to my website down below. That's going to be updated with the ban list later today, because that's also on this side, but obviously it takes time to translate and stuff. So that'll be up whenever I can get it up. And we'll have to start planning things out because uh, March 24th is not too far away and and I hope that the Switch update is coming on the 24th because if it's on the 25th then that's going to be a bit awkward for making content so I might try and see if I can contact Konami and see what they say. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below of this new update of course, everything we've had confirmed, the new characters, we've had new backgrounds, new animations, we've got new cards uh, and yeah, it's, it's just coming so soon which is really cool to see so let me know what you think down below thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next legacy of the duelist link evolution video see you then